Hi guys, welcome to another budget with me. As promised, I did make a downloadable budget spreadsheet for you guys, so let's get into that. So for this spreadsheet, it's broken up into months. So now we're in the month of October. It only accounts for one bank account, but as you guys know, and as I'll show you in the November budget, I actually budget with two bank accounts, but most people don't. So I just combined the bank accounts for this <laughs> demonstration. So last month I had a balance in both of my accounts of $5,379 and then in the income section I had budgeted to pay myself $2,925 and in actuality I ended up paying myself $4,020 and that is because I ended up spending more money than I thought I would so I had to pay myself more. Now that is a difference of $1,095 more and that is the only income that I received uh, last month. So in terms of savings, this is where you can put your savings amounts or sinking funds investments. But uh, as I mentioned before, I take my savings out before I pay myself. So I don't account for it here. Moving on to the bill section, we have the usual bill. So my cell phone bill was $111 and that is what I actually paid. Subscriptions also say the same at $19. Electricity actually came in lower. It was $35. Internet was $50 and car insurance was the same at $461. Now my car loan as well that is clearly a debt so it's in the debt section so that was also the same at $1650. And as you'll see here, the spreadsheet accounts for your bank account balance as you go through the different sections. So that way you can always make sure that you have money in your bank account as the month goes on. So next up, we have some other accounted for expenses. So when I budgeted with you guys last month, I had planned to spend $20 on books. I ended up not buying any books because I was like so busy with like other things like you know making the spreadsheet editing youtube videos as you guys will see i managed to edit a couple blogs plus my usual videos so that took some time so i didn't buy any books so zero dollars there and then work expenses came in lower than this actually so 195 dollars now i would like to mention that this part of the spreadsheet is uh, the actual models are based on what you put into the expense tracker so you can put in your expenses several of them and then the expenses are automatically calculated based on the categories over here that you put in but because I already have a budgeting software that does that mend I don't need to track my actual expenses here but I know the majority of people like don't use mint so that's why that is there so another expense that I I think I did budget for this I think I budgeted a hundred dollars actually but <laughs> I ended up paying one it was more than that on a yearly basis but I ended up paying for two years worth of car registrations because the less I have to do something the better for me so this ended up being $562 so you know significantly more than budgeted and then work supplies so I was intending to pick up a contractor or independent contractor job which the first one fell through for sure and the second one I'm still waiting to hear back about but I ended up spending $225 for this and then accessories I purchased a couple hooks for my bag and those cost some dollars I will show you what the hooks are so that <laughs> this makes sense okay so the bag comes with the strap and then the actual hooks that are on the bag but um, you need some sort of attachment to get the two together so effectively I bought these two things from Etsy so that I can wear the bag alone without attaching the smaller bag. Because as you can see, this bag comes with the hooks attached on like the other one. So I don't know, that made me very excited because, <laughs> you know, I like versatility. 
so moving on i went to the museum which was lovely and that cost me 14 dollars next up was business services so that ended up costing me costing me 232 dollars and that is things for this business effectively so my youtube social media type things and then when I went to the museum, I paid for parking. That was $7. Skincare. Okay. So Amazon had their prime sale. So I bought a couple things. I bought my usual winter sunscreen. So the Inus Free Daily UV Defense. It's like 36 uh, SPF. But it's... That's why it's only for winter, but it's like really moisturizing. It makes your skin look super glowy, so I really like that. And then I bought my usual Laneige Lip Glowy Balm because like I cannot live without lip balm. <laughs> and then the Sephora sale started today, and of course I made a purchase. So with the Amazon stuff and the Sephora, I ended up spending $124 on skincare, which is actually less than I anticipated, but I decided to use up what I have versus like buying more things and having like a stockpile because I'm just trying to like be better about that kind of thing. Now, restaurants. Me and my friend went to the cider mill and uh, we got some cider and donuts. So that was $11. And then at the Sephora sale, I bought some hair products. I bought conditioner and shampoo, and that worked out to $90. And then of course I bought the usual hygiene stuff. So some lotions, a body wash, some other things, which you guys will see because I'll do a Sephora haul for you. So hygiene was $196. And then I'm realizing that I forgot to put some other categories in there. So I'm going to add those and then we're going to go over it. Okay, so in terms of my usual living expenses, groceries I budgeted $350 and I spent $264. So that's nice to be lower than usual. Because for the past few months I've been spending more, which is neither here nor there but i decided to look through my fridge and my pan pantry and see what i actually had and i realized i had like multiple of certain things that i kept on buying because i forgot that i had them <laughs> so needless to say i made a grocery list and have been shopping from that and that has helped a lot so that's a good thing no gas for my car i actually spent less so 131 dollars and then wellness i got my usual omega threes and then i got some other supplements so those work out to be 102 dollars and then home i spent a bit more than I budgeted because I had zero dollars budgeted but I spent a hundred and one dollars and that was a combination of what I got in the Sephora sale and then I like to buy flowers every month or so for my house uh, just because I don't know I like the aesthetics of them so a hundred and one dollars for all of that so let us go over everything so income's pretty self-explanatory it's budgeted there but clearly if you had more than one it would tally up there so four thousand and twenty dollars for income savings mentioned i did it outside of the budget in terms of bills my bills total six hundred and seventy six dollars so fifteen dollars more than i budgeted debt is the same and then my actual expenses were two thousand two hundred and sixty one dollars so one thousand three hundred and forty nine dollars more than i budgeted for so <laughs> that is why i had to pay myself a little bit more over here so yes the ending balance in my two checking checking accounts should be four thousand eight hundred and twelve dollars and then it breaks down over here what you actually spent in the bills expenses debt and savings categories but the savings doesn't show because like i mentioned i didn't put anything there but suppose i did put something here um we'll put five hundred dollars then it would pop up over there and over here you can get a overview of what you budgeted for these categories and what you actually brought in and then here is also a summary 
the same thing if you want to just see the numbers by each other. Other features of the budget sheet over here you can put your goals for the month or whatever else you'd like to put and then you can also make a to-do list of things that you need to do and then check them off as you go. So for actual spending, I spent $4,587 from all of these categories here. And I had initially budgeted $3,253. So that's that. Let's move on to the budget for November. Okay, so November should be a little bit more relaxed, hopefully in terms of spending because November was when I was planning to do the Sephora haul, but then I didn't realize it was gonna start in October. So should be a little bit less spending. Of course, it's gonna be Black Friday, so I'm gonna find something to buy. So we'll see how this works out, but let's start. So this is my pared down version of the budget sheet that I just showed you. And this is what I'm gonna be using for videos going forward until of course I decide to change it because that's just what I do. But on the left side, we have the variable checking account, and then on the fixed side is the fixed, or on the right side is the fixed checking account. <laughs> yeah. All right, so in terms of the balance in my variable checking account, it is $1,437. And then the salary or what I'm paying myself is gonna be $1,000. My cell phone bill is the usual, so $70. Subscription is $19. And then electricity is going to be $50 or I'm budgeting $50 because I actually don't know what it's going to be. Last year it was $35. So I'm hoping it's, you know, less than 50 either way. Internet is $50. That's the usual. Groceries, I'm going to budget $350. Gas is going to be $150. And in terms of wellness, I don't have anything budgeted for that, but... You never know. Home, I'm budgeting $20 for some fresh flowers. And then car maintenance, I'm probably gonna wash my car. I mean, I wash my car like several times a month, but normally I would hand wash it at that car wash, but now that it's getting cold, I'm actually having to go through the drive-through car wash. And that costs more, it costs $5 each time. And I've only washed my car like one time this month. I think it's because it's not raining anymore like it did in the summer. So it's actually staying cleaner. So November maybe should be the same. So we'll just budget $5. And then hygiene, I need to get another electronic toothbrush because the one I have is on its last legs. So I'm thinking $60. And then today when I was getting ready for this video, I just thought I need to get some more hair care products. So normally I get like pomades and stuff from Kemet Biologics. So they usually have a Black Friday sale every year. So planning to get some things there. I don't think I need a lot because I still have some stuff from the last time I made an order. So we'll just pick $50, we'll see what happens. So in total for my spending in the verbal checking account, it's gonna be budgeted at 8,000 to 8,000, 8, no, $824. And then the ending balance in the account should be $1,613. And I like to keep the balance in this account at around $1,000, but it can also go down to around $700. That's what my average like required spending is. Now we're gonna move on to the fixed side. So fixed checking account, starting balance was $3,637. And I pay myself $2,200. $200 and I've increased that amount that amount because the cost for these have gone up and this is effectively what this is the average monthly cost of these bills here because I decided to add the tabs as well so the only thing I have to pay this month however is my car loan as usual which was 1650 or is going to be 1650 and that should leave me with an ending balance of four thousand one hundred and eighty seven dollars so this is the breakdown of all the spending but in summary I am going to to be paying myself in both accounts $3,200 and my combined spending is $2,474 and then you can see the breakdown here so bills cost me $1,839 and these are these two bill categories here and then living expenses $525 and then extra spending $110 so the difference between the income and the spending is $726 
So that is it for the budget with me for November. Hopefully you guys find some value in it and let me know if you think I should make any improvements to the budget sheet or what you think about it in general and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.